Well, the Dogtown St. Patty's Day Parade is a tradition here in St. Louis, but another tradition that a lot of families have are passing down China from one generation to the next. Sometimes that China needs a little bit of, you know, Zhoosh. So adding a little bit of new to the old or this and that are two ladies who are pretty together, Liz Sloan as well as Jen Richmond. Ladies, thanks so much for being here with us thanks today. Thanks for having us as always. Of course, <laughs> y'all have brought in an incredible spread and I love this because you're just adding a little bit of, of modern to, yep, the, right. to the party. Yep, I love it. Pretty much. Walk us through exactly what you all have done, taking you know some old traditional China and just giving it new life. Well, our goal is that we want people to actually use their china. I think that in so many cases, china gets passed down through the years and then everyone's scared to touch it and scared <laughs> to use it. Um, and then it just, what, sits in a box or in a cabinet or in the basement for years on end. And um, and what, what good is that doing anybody? And it's all about putting it to good use. And china is really some of the best items that we can use when it comes to sitting down and eating a dinner with our family, right? Absolutely. Honestly, people are scared to use China, but it is actually the strongest of the plates and dishes that are out there. It goes stoneware, porcelain, and then China as in strength. Wow. So you should not be afraid to use that China and put it out on a table. No time like the present, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> I know, we're coming up on Easter and Mother's Day and like it's time to like Bring out some of the china, make it cute. And this is exactly what all, you all have done. And I love this one over here. This one's really colorful, it's bright. Right. Walk us through how you guys went in and actually took the old china and paired it with some new, fresh, and fun life. All right, well, that this guy down at the end, the, the kind of planner one, is actually my nanny's china. Oh, I love that. Um, so I wanted to do kind of a just a nice, fresh, like casual kind of thing. It can go fancy or casual, depending on what you put with it. Um, this here it's is super cute. This is my friend Kathy's mom's china, which I adore. That's uh, that that so fuchsia, that is fuchsia, just, yeah. like gorgeous. it had me at fuchsia, so <laughs> I couldn't resist doing polka dots with it. I love and I love Pattern that combo. It's like yeah. fun, yep. fat. Fun exactly. And funky. There we go. Yep. And y'all say really don't be afraid to mix patterns. Everything oh, doesn't no. have to be matchy matchy. Oh, never. Yeah. Never. In fact, that's why a lot of people don't like china sets, right? Because you've got the dishes and the pepper shaker and the <laughs> gravy boat and the, all the things. And the it feels and right. the saucers. It and feels the, keep going. really overdone. But instead of, like Liz said, hiding it in the basement, just take one or two pieces out. They can actually be fabulous, yeah. like on their own. I, and I love that. And speaking of the fabulosity on their own, y'all have used a lot of white over here. You've mixed the patterns and textures over here, but you don't see That's a lot all. of black china no. or those darker colors. Right. Walk us through what but, you yeah, I love. Here. Personally, I love this one. It had kind of an Asian feel. So mm -hmm. like Jen said, these two were her family's, but I just went to an antique store and picked up these other plates that you see. Um, and I saw that one and I just thought, let's just really go with this Asian theme, which is why I've placed the modern flatware kind of like you would place <laughs> chopsticks. Which um, is super cute. But with this like really modern glass from Crate and Barrel or this magnolia yeah. plate from Target. Like none of it, this is all stuff that you can put together. Mm. I think this napkin is sur la table. Like anybody can do this. This is all stuff that's available to anybody to purchase. I love right. that. Mixing and matching, just making everything be pretty and together. Right. From yeah. the ladies from Pretty <laughs> Together. <laughs> well, you all do a lot when it comes to just adding life to what we already have at home, whether it's recipes or China or celebrating the holidays. If people at home, they're interested in learning more about what you all do, where can they find you? They can go to prettytogether.com or you can follow us on Instagram at we are pretty together and we also have Facebook of course so any of those places uh, yeah come see us and always like send us a message we like yeah, to talk yeah. to people we're Let's chat right send us a picture of your china we'll tell you what we would put with it <laughs> exactly yeah, we're right absolutely here for that y'all so. are yeah. on it well not only are these ladies pretty together they are pretty together and I love it before we go I want each of you all to pick a favorite on the count of three one two, three. I'm going with that one. Oh. <laughs> hey, St. Louis, we'll make sure you have access to all of their information on our website. It's studiostl.tv. It's right there on your screen, prettytogether.com. And show them some love on Facebook and on Instagram at Pretty Together. And we are Pretty Together.